So you have pelvic floor dysfunction and you're wondering what exercise you should do. And one of the ones that you've been told is your glutes. So what's the best exercise for your gluteus medius and minimus, the ones over here? And why is that even important? That's the subject of this video. Hey, this is Dr. Shaki from Core Pelvic Floor Therapy right here in Irvine, Orange County. One of the things that happens with pelvic floor dysfunction is the instability of the pelvis. And one of the areas that stabilizes the pelvis is your gluteus medius and minimus, right over here. These muscles, basically when they're strong and intact, they limit how far you sway from side to side. So a lot of times they're weak, sometimes they're super tight, and therefore they're weak. And the best exercise for your gluteus medius and maximus are the clams. So you can do them with a band or without the band. That's when you work on them in isolation. I like to kind of get familiar with those muscles, kind of activate them a little bit before I use functional movement, developmental kinesiology, DNS exercises to really get those muscles work with the rest of my body. So in clams, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you and actually use this here. You're gonna be laying down, you can use a pillow or whatever you want, you can use your arm, but make sure your hip is over top of your hip, you're not leaning forward, your ankle is on your ankle, and what you're doing is place your hand right over here. You wanna feel that muscle uh, working as you go through the process of lifting. I'd like to count to 1,001 through 1,005 and slowly bring it down. So you don't wanna be leaning back, you don't wanna be leaning forward, you wanna feel this here in the process of going up, feel this lifting this up, and in the process of coming down, feel this slowly letting go. So that's the clam with resistance. You can do it without the band to do it without resistance. So that's getting your brain connected to this. And then the best exercise to now let this player play with the other musicians in the movement, which is like a concert, is to do what we did at age seven months. We're gonna make sure we attach a video from a different channel I have, which is purely on functional movement. This channel is all about um, pelvic floor dysfunction. That channel is all about functional movement. So this video is on that channel. Um, I think the information is in the description box. You can check it out too if you want to subscribe to that channel too. But this is what we did. I'm not going to get into the uh, uh, specifics of how to get to this level, but the video that we're, we'll put at the end of this video will have that. So you're going to go from this position to that position. And in this position, what is happening is you're relying on your leg and your forearm to be the, to be the, uh, the secure points and the rest of your body is simply lifting you up. So that's the glutes and your legs on the bottom that are lifting you up. It's not this, the torso trying to go this way and getting you up, or I didn't even do it wrong this <laughs> time. So you want to be able to lift yourself up and hold it. And in the sitting back position, go back and lower yourself slowly. This is a dynamic exercise. It's a DNS, developmental kinesiology exercise that we incorporate in strengthening the glutes and therefore pelvic floor area. If you have any questions, 
Uh, make sure you use one of the methods of contact in the description box to contact me. If you have not subscribed to the channel, this is your opportunity to do so. Until next time, take care.